Hey, welcome back uh, to the final video. This is just the one that's going to look at the activity plan and the activity tracker. Uh, they're both pretty tightly linked, uh, and these are really good tools for just keeping your sales reps accountable uh, to their daily processes So, um, and their daily activity numbers. So you start simply by picking a rep name um, based up in here. Um, your 90 day start and end are just for admin sake and what that rep name will do is it'll bring their target numbers from the sales performance plan through for new business and existing business. So this simply has um, uh, five steps to it. First is your current commit. So based on their target, um, find out what their current commit is. So if I've got 560 suspect touches, the rep might say, well, I've only got, I think, about 250 in my pipeline right now, therefore I've got a gap of 310. Uh, I've got 100 prospect touches, um, 40 account touches, 40 accounts worked. Uh, I think I'd better close two new logos this quarter, and I think I'm only going to close six new deals this quarter. And I've got pipeline of... Um, $15,000 that I'm ready to commit. Um, you'll see that there are some gaps now highlighted in this uh, row here. Um, so the next part of the process is to go and figure out why these gaps exist. So this is for the reps to do. They'll say this is why the gaps exist. They might say marketing aren't giving me enough quality leads. They might say oh, I'm speaking to the wrong people. I don't have enough contact information left. Whatever the reason for the gap existing, they'll, they'll throw that in there. The next thing before they meet the sales manager is to outline the options for addressing the gap. Um, then when you do a planning session with each rep, um, sit down as a sales manager or a leader and figure out, okay, what, what actions are we going to take? You've listed these 10 options that we have for addressing that sales gap. Uh, let's pick three of them and focus really hard on implementing those across each area. Um, so for suspect touches, it might be I'm going to use HubSpot task sequence, task queues and sequences to increase the number of touches I do without having to do as much work. Um, for increasing my closed deal value, it might be actually I'm going to go away and work with the sales manager on a training program to figure out how to upsell part of this product. Um, the sales manager will throw in some comments and then finally we'll throw in a quarter result uh, and that'll give us the difference against target. Uh, and you guys should review these with each sales rep at the end of each quarter. Um, this will all flow through into the activity tracker, which is super simple to use. Um, you'll simply get the target suspect touches, prospect touches and accounts worked, and target account touches for existing business and new business, and then a cumulative score. Um, so you'll simply enter the number. If you're below, it'll be red. If you're above, it'll be green. If you're bang on, uh, it'll be blue. Um, there's a bit of rounding error in here, so six is just a little under. Uh, and then what that will do is that will give you your cumulative number. So you're able to see if a rep's cumulatively on track. So, etc., etc., etc. So that's quite simple to use and get the reps to fill these out uh, and send them to you on a weekly basis to make sure they're on track. Um, the other thing I'd really think about here uh, as a um, sales manager is just downloading the 90 day activity plan and the activity tracker separately for each rep, saving the own copies and copying and pasting data over um, as you change the name of the rep in the activity plan. That will just make it a lot easier for you to manage five different reps, um, different activity plans. Awesome guys, well that's everything for me on the um, growth model how to use. Um, sing out to our team um, through the Proposition website. If you've got any questions about how to make this work for your business, we're more than happy to jump in and help you figure out any sales challenges that you might have and that you might be facing. Um, so good luck. Hope you get a lot of value out of this. Uh, and thanks for watching.